Hey guys, welcome to the Trucking Diaries, part of Lad's Garage. I'm Clint. We're in Fireball, getting ready to get our day started. We gotta go up and do a drug screen. Y'all believe that? They want to test me for drugs. <laughs> crazy ain't it they ain't gonna find nothing I've been clean since I, before I graduated high school but it is required with the DOT to do something like this so that's what we're gonna go do and last week oh, if you've seen the last video or not I highly recommend going to watch it we did 1,800 miles in just three days, uh, over 3,000, just over 3,000 miles for the week. Give you guys a little bit of my personal history straight ahead of me, a little over, let's say, 22, 23 years ago. This time in the morning, i have been sitting up there in that building up there. That's the Central Middle School that I went to school at. And door here just back there that's where I live so <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and do our drug test and hopefully nobody steals the truck well we didn't study for the drug test so I don't know for sure or not if I passed or not I don't know so <laughs> I blew the alcohol test Zero, zero, zero. <laughs> Pretty sure we probably passed the drug test. But, you know, it's kind of fun reminiscing, thinking, you know, this old road here, every day I'd walk up that way and walk back that way. This part, I guess you could technically say once we got to the apartments back there, it was uphill, so... I guess you could say it was uphill both ways. <laughs> My friend, he, he lived just right there. This house was right there on the other side of that orange, yellowish looking place. So, spent a lot of time there too. Yep, this is my home, well, town I grew up in. I won't say hometown, where I grew up. But we gotta get over to St. Genevieve now. We gotta quit reminiscences. I still don't know what we're doing today, but we'll figure it out, I'm sure. All right, we're pulling in here. My guess is we're at half tank fuel. Uh, load's a load, it's supposed to be a little bit lighter than what the last one we brought in. Last time we was 78.5 and I was almost dead on the money. But we're gonna go with 78,000 this time. Uh, sounds like a good number. You know, we're about a little under half tank, a little lighter load. It just seems like a 78,000 pound day. All right. I don't know the drill. Go up here, scale in. Like I said, I think 78,000 seems like a good number. I can usually go off of Brian's weight pretty good. The rest of it depends on me and my fuel situation. I'm gonna put our jacket on though. It is a little chilly out. No, up here. All right, we're up on the scale. Oh. 78, 8, 60. Yeah, yeah. Well, our next mission is coming up here. We're about five miles away from getting reloaded. Uh, I think we're getting pipe going over to Kansas City somewhere. Uh, kind of, they kind of popped this up on me not too long ago, so we'll uh, go over here, get loaded up, and head towards Kansas City. See how, how we can get this all figure eight. Really wasn't thinking we was going to get anything today, but. 
We'll take it. We gotta make that money. Race season's coming up on us quickly. Actually, technically, it's already started. Play day was Saturday, so uh, we gotta get get everything together on the car still yet. So it's here. We gotta get the money so we can get it done. Get her done. I'm gonna tell you right now. See, I got my sock cap on. We had to walk a pretty good ways back to go get checked in here. I don't really care for places that do that. We got a stop sign here, and then we got to walk all the way back. I don't know, I can't really see you in the mirror. But all the way back to the back corner, back yonder, if you kind of look in the mirror. All the way around the building to the far side. Long walk. That's not the point of this conversation. Part of this conversation is that wind is freezing cold. I didn't have my sock caps on, didn't have no gloves on. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna add this heavy jacket on because I probably would have froze to death walking over there. Kind of a net lady that's cold. <laughs> Alright. Got our pipe. We're gonna pull up and get ready to roll. Woo. We made it over here to uh, technically, I guess it's what's that sign say? Where does it say that? Fairfax, but it's Kansas City. Um, place where we're delivering it. We got some cool old irons sitting over there. A K100 and an old FLC. Cool. I like them. Probably not very comfortable to drive, but I like them old K100s. And it's got the round headlights too. Awesome. Hey, gorgeous. How you doing? Oh, hi. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. How you doing? Mm. Oh, spring ride, huh? Oh, you too. Oh, man. Been sitting a while. You look a little dry. There you go. On stack in the bag. Man, uh, it looked like a, I can't quite tell, it looked like a cat. Man, beautiful. I think these guys have been sitting a while. Where's Jack pick one up, Chief? It's a left LC. crap out of these guys. They're both here. Here. We'll see you guys later. We gotta go get unloaded. Man, they even got a conventional old uh, international. They can. Yeah, yeah. We got all sorts of gold here. Drive through town? Sure. Why not? <laughs> you got a Soldiers and Sailors Memorial over here. On my 7th Street and Barnett Avenue. There's a fancy name for this street, but I can't pronounce it. Not even going to try. Not today. <laughs> All right. We are loaded up. Believe it or not, that's over 40,000 pounds. The load of pipe we brought over is just barely over 20,000. We got to head to East Chicago. I don't know if we're going to go all the way today or go most of the way and just finish it up in the morning. Uh, he called and told me to. They, they, he gets there at 5 and open everything up so we can get unstrapped and untarped and all that and be ready for him. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see where we end up tonight. Me some ice cream. This guy done eating lunch and let this thing air up for a minute. Obviously, it got low on air. Maybe let some of these guys clear out of the way. Well, I 
guess we ought to head out of here. We got uh, over six minutes left to go. Or six minutes. <laughs> oh, what are we? Six hours. A little over six hours, not minutes. Can we get out of here? I pulled in here, there wasn't. A couple trucks in here and nobody getting fuel. I walked right across the road to the Chinese uh, buffet. It was wonderful. Get done eating lunch and it's like everybody's out running around. I guess everybody takes their lunch break on the road here.
Oh well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the ride along. Uh, let me know in the comments down below here. Uh, if you like these, you know, videos being spread out over a couple days, um, or if you like the daily videos, I can do both, you know, one way or the other. It don't really phase me too much, but, you know, it just seems like sometimes the daily stuff just gets repetitive, 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 repetitive. So I thought I'd maybe try to break it up a little bit, but we are back up almost home for an hour. We're going to pull our tarp off. And then we're going to back on the canopy right there. We're going to back up underneath to that. Uh, and get up in the morning. Get this kicked off. And then we're going to go to just up the road a little ways. Get reloaded. Going back to Missouri. Up by Hannibal somewhere. So, like I said, hit the like button. The subscribe button. I'm just pointing in a general direction because we're down here somewhere probably over here here and here but hit all them buttons down there see what happens don't hit the don't hit that one no that's a no-no y'all stay safe out there god bless you and don't work yourself to death